This is Movie Turn. Leslie Mitchell reporting. Under the shadow of the Brandenburg Gate, Field Marshal Montgomery presents decorations to the conquerors of Berlin. The GCB for Marshal Zhukov. For Marshal Rokossovsky, the KCB. Monty, apparently scorning the services of his interpreter, used a sign language typically his own. To mark the occasion, there was a march past of the King's Company of the Grenadier Guards. This time, Berliner saw not the goose-stepping arrogance of the Wehrmacht, but the well-ordered precision of the British Grenadiers. Berlin was soon to see another big parade, and preparations were well in hand. Spit and polish reigned again as the 7th Armoured Division cleaned up for the march past of the British garrison troops and the bigger victory parade to come. Major General Line took the salute. And what of Berlin? The ravages of the Allied air forces and Russian guns can be judged from these aerial pictures. And pictures taken by an Austrian cameraman give an impression of the capital in the middle of an RAF raid. Remember the Blitz? This is just retribution. And in the morning, chaos. The people of Berlin, numbed by the attack, wander aimlessly about the ruins of their once imposing city. And now, in the present, women are clearing away the wreckage. Not very quickly, it appears, but then they have a lot to think about as they work. Homeless, set out with their belongings to find somewhere to live, and there are queues for everything. In the markets, dehydrated potatoes are on sale, but most business is done by barter. Every street corner is placarded with advertisements. Snakeskin shoes for a portion of coffee, and so on. These pictures show only too clearly the tragedy of Berlin, but it is tragedy which has been richly deserved. If you feel any pangs of sympathy, remember that these same women applauded the Führer for his conquests. They showed no sympathy then towards the enslaved people of Europe. There are considerably fewer cafes, of course, since the RAF did its stuff, but those that remain apparently do a roaring trade. Certainly some of them still seem to be doing all right. Coffee at the pavement cafes just as it all was before the Russians arrived. Meanwhile, the big three and their staffs are assembling for the conference. The cruiser Augusta, which took President Roosevelt to the Atlantic Charter meeting, now brings President Truman to Antwerp. General Eisenhower was there to greet him. Following the president into the car was Mr. Burns, who succeeded Mr. Statinius as Secretary of State. From Antwerp, they set out on the last lap of their journey to Berlin. In Berlin itself, Mr. Churchill arrives. Monty was there to do the honours. <laughs> Mr.
Mr. Attlee, leader of the opposition, came in another plane. He too will be present at the conference. The Premier, of course, insisted on seeing Berlin for himself and obviously savoured Allied triumph to the full. Throughout the five years he has held office, he has never for a moment ceased to strive and work for victory and to look forward to the day that he would stand and survey the ruins of Berlin. You can imagine Winston Churchill's feelings now as he looks over the scenes which spelt the end of his arch enemy. This is triumph indeed. The Premier saw the place where Hitler and Eva Braun were reported to have been burned. No sympathy was wasted here. And no chances were being taken in the area of the conference house. Every few yards, sentries guarded the road and the strictest precautions were taken at the many barriers. Here is the place where Stalin, Truman and Churchill will decide the future of Europe. The star motive, adopted by the Western Allies as well as the Russians, was in evidence. The Premier had lost no time on his arrival in meeting President Truman. This was the first occasion on which they'd met since Truman became President of the United States. the opening of the conference and the meeting with Marshal Stalin, the final chapter of the story of the war in Europe. The thoughts and prayers of the whole world are with these three men. May they be guided by their own greatness in the decisions they will make in Berlin.